This topic is sums of radicals. Here we have some distribution going on, but before I distribute, it might be wise to simplify root 48 and root 12. So let's do that right now. We have two root three. Let's see, what is a perfect square that goes into 48? Well, 16 goes into 48, and 16 is a perfect square because the square root of 16 is four. So I will rewrite the square root of 48 as the square root of 16 times the square root of 3. Now, the square root of 12, we can take a 4 out of that. And the square root of 4 is 2, so I'll rewrite this as the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Now, let's just make this a little bit simplified. We'll write, write, we'll, we, we will rewrite the whole thing. Here we have... 2 root 3. The square root of 16 uh, is 4. And we have root 3 minus 5 times quantity. The square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 3. All right, things are looking a little bit better now. Pretty good. Let's set a distribute that 5 to the 2 root 3 at this point. So now we have 2 root 3 times 4 root 3 minus 10 root 3. And 4 root 3 minus 10 root 3, well, we can think of this as 4x minus 10x. Well, 4x minus 10x, that's negative 6x. Likewise, 4 root 3 minus 10 root 3, that's negative 6 root 3. And now 2 times negative 6, that gives us negative 12. And root 3 times root 3 is root 9. And now I'll simplify root 9. We have negative 12 times root 9 is 3. And finally, negative 12 times 3 is just negative 36, and that is the answer. Now, let's take a look at yet another problem. This one is also distribution, but there really isn't much that I can do before I distribute, so let's just distribute right off the bat. Now, root 6w times root 3w, that's root 18w squared, because 6 times 3 is 18, and w times w is w squared. 6 times 2 is 12, and w times w cubed is w to the fourth. Now I have to simplify the square root of 18w squared plus the square root of 12w to the fourth. Well, there is a square number as a factor of 18. It's 9, and what's left is root 2. And w squared, that's already a square, so I'll just leave that as the square root of w squared. Now out of 12, I can take out a 4, because that is a square, and what's left is root 3 w to the fourth can be written as w squared times w squared. Root 9, that's 3. Root 2, that stays root 2. But the root w squared, that's the absolute value of w because we have an even index. Plus, root 4, that's 2. And root w squared and root w squared, those are both the absolute value of w. So we have 2 times the absolute value of w times the absolute value of w times that root 3 in there. Now let's simplify this. We have 3 absolute value of w times the square root of 2 plus 2 times the absolute value of w squared times the square root of 3. Now, the w squared, that's never going to be negative. That's always going to be positive. 
or equal to zero. And the absolute value doesn't actually do anything to anything that's zero uh, or positive. So the absolute, w, the absolute value of w squared really isn't needed. The absolute value is completely redundant. We don't need it. We can just get rid of it. So here we have 3 times the absolute value of w times the square root of 2 plus 2w squared times the square root of 3. And that is the final answer. There's nothing else that we can do to this. We can't add it because root 2 and root 3 are not the same. Thank you for watching.